friends welcome to AKM shards uh, today we're going to cover the basics all the basics of India's 115 revenue from contract with customer in a very short uh, in a very sh short span of time and uh, I'll uh, I'll try to explain each and everything of the basics of this NDS in the form of examples so let's begin so as the name suggests it is NDS 115 and the 5 here uh, is representing the five step model which is the uh, core which is the core of this uh, whole NDS now if we go through the uh, the headings of the five step model uh, it starts with identify the contracts and identify the uh, performance obligation determine the transaction price allocate the transaction price to the performance obligation and recognize the revenue which is satisfaction of the performance obligation if if you want it you can uh, uh, create a uh, memory technique for it i have created for it uh, which is cpt air you can you can refer it for your own good uh, which is c uh, is identify the contract and p identify the performance obligation t determine the transaction price and a which is allocate the transaction price to the performance obligation and r which is revenue recognition which is satisfaction of po let's begin with step number one which is contract now if we come to the contract contract is an agreement which is enforceable by law and it creates rights and obligation for each party and for each party by by each party what i mean what i mean is uh, if a and b are getting into an agreement then it creates rights and obligation for a as well as rights and obligation for b so uh, a contract is an agreement a contract is an agreement which is enforceable by law and creates rights and obligation for each party it can be it can be written it can be oral it can be implied and it can be any other customary practice so uh, written can be on paper oral can be example for oral can be like if if you're if you're have if you're owning a, a lawn and you're allowing any other person to uh, use that lawn that is oral and that that contract is now uh, in the form of oral contract and i is implied for example if you go to the restaurant and you order some food that is an implied contract any other customary practice that is that is traditionally accepted uh, to be a contract can also be recognized as a contract now after the after the definition of the contract it uh, where we come how do how do i recognize the contract so there are five conditions uh, fulfilling of that will determine whether the, whether there is a contract or not number one is the approval of the rights if the both the if both the parties of the contract are approving to the rights uh, then then uh, you can recognize this as a contract and uh, uh, and uh, both both the parties should know, should be aware of the rights and both the parties should be aware of the liabilities or both the parties should be aware of the payment terms now there and and there must be a commercial substance and there must be a collectability um, assurance as well so if if any uh, consideration is not collectible then then it can not be considered as a contract it can it can be considered as uh, as a, a donation or something like that so approval is required the, both the parties should know their rights both the parties should know the payment terms uh, there must be a commercial substance the, the barter cannot be there there must be a commercial substance and electability uh, collectability is uh, another important component now the, now, the, uh, now we talk about the contract terms so contract terms can be of two types one is the fixed contract and second can be non fixed contract or maybe variable contract so the term uh, i can explain the term as uh, if you're if you're if you're if nowadays many people are doing this contractual jobs a six month job and nine months job so that is that is the, the contract is term that is fixed term contract and if the contract is not fixed like uh, uh, like if you if you go to some um, shop and you uh, buy uh, anything uh, you 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 uh, buy for some um, services that is based that that you will be availing for next 12 months and but you're having an option to cancel the contract right after three months so the count so the contract term becomes the three months so this is the example of variable uh, contract term 
now if we talk about the combining the contract and there uh, there are three types of combining which is package which is recognized uh, if which, which you can treat it as a package if you're uh, for example if you're if you're buying pepsi coca cola and and, 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 and these far fast food stuffs uh, uh, as a package then there is a combining contract if uh, the consideration of one uh, it's a consideration of one uh, component is based on the reconsideration of other component what i mean is uh, when the the when the availment of the services is based on the um, based on one contract is based on the other contract then it means uh, the contract is the combining contract now it, it, now it comes to the single performance obligation if uh, for example if uh, if you're going to a uh, car repair shop and uh, you go there and uh, and to the repair you say um, all the material that is required you'll be applying for that everything you'll be applying for that i'll be paying uh, one one time money to you then this is uh, a single performance obligation so this is uh, this is also considered as a combining contract now uh, modification in the contract can be of three types uh, either you can continue the old contract or you can uh, cancel the old contract and get into a new contract or you can get into a separate contract so this is all about this was all about contract now second step comes to identify the performance obligation now what is obligation obligation is the promise to transfer the goods and services that is the strength for example pen and or it can be a promise to transfer a series of goods or services that are substantially the same and has the same pattern of transfer for example the amazon prime membership if you're getting the get if you're if you're uh, buying the prime amazon prime membership then you're getting a series of services of watching uh, web series and movies and uh, the the all are uh, get in the same category and the pattern of the uh, transfer is the same as well so now identify the performance obligation the number one point comes to customer sometimes customer option to buy additional goods is given to the customer uh, for example voucher so whenever goods and goods uh, are sold along with the along with some kind of voucher then the value of goods and voucher should be separated uh, in the recognition uh, while recognizing the values and that uh, separation would be based on the standalone price the consignment if there is consignment uh, arrangement then uh, consigner uh, sends the goods to the consignee then the recognition of the revenue should be based and should be uh, should be done when the control has been transferred to the ultimate customer when if there is a case of principal and agent then uh, and principal transfers the goods to uh, the agent for 500 and the agent is selling the goods uh, um, again um, further uh, for 600 then uh, principal should recognize the revenue on the basis of on, on gross basis which is 500 and agent should be uh, recognizing his revenue on the basis of net basis which is 100 so step number one step number two is done step number three is the determination of this transaction price uh, the transaction price uh, the, there can be a variable transaction price if there is standalone price then the standalone price is the transaction price if there is standalone if there is no standalone price this variable consideration is there then expected value should be calculated if if possible then expected value can be calculated as the amount of consideration into the probability of uh, the recovery and if there is if there if there cannot be any expected value then there there must be a uh, most likely value if there is most likely value then you take the whole of the most likely value if there is no most likely value then you cannot take any of the amounts so for example of the most likely value is the bonus uh, if you're entitled to bonus you can take the whole of the amount if you're not entitled then you cannot take any penny and if there is expected value for example uh, is any amount of consideration which is uh, expected to be increased or decreased in the future then you can on the basis of probability calculate the expected value sale or return now in the case of sale or return revenue if the return is possible if, if you're expecting a return is possible then you would have to create a refund uh, liability and also an asset fund but if the return is not possible uh, then you can uh, recognize the revenue warranties can be of two types service type and assurance type if there is a service type warranty then you can treat it as a separate performance obligation if there is assurance type warranty then you can uh, uh, create a separate provision as per the india's india's 37 
uh, if there is a financial contract and then if there is any payment which is deferred to the future then you can then you will have to create uh, you'll have to treat it as a finance cost any deferred payment should be treated as a finance cost non cash consideration if there is if there is a, any non cash consideration the, and if the estimate is reliable then you can uh, tr uh, recognize it as at a at a standalone price and if it is not reliable reliably estimated then uh, you cannot uh, recognize at standalone price number step number 4 comes the allocation of transaction price and uh, the allocation should be based should be based on the standalone price only uh, except in the case of discount where discount is separately treated as discount is um, reduced uh, upfront and variable consideration should be treated accordingly and the sales price uh, and the standalone price uh, should be the observable price which is which is easily identifiable but if it is not easily identifiable then in a, in observable price in in observable price like um like identical uh, identical value and all you can take so uh, if there is any if there is a possible change in the transaction price yes the yes the transaction price can be changed Uh, and the satisfaction and the num step number five is satisfaction of the performance obligation which is revenue recognition when the control is transferred yeah you can you can um, recognize the revenue uh, for example netflix subscription uh, you you cannot uh, uh, recognize it as annual and on, on an annual basis because you are you are availing services the control is transferred to you on monthly basis so the netflix subscription should be recognized monthly